Well, I'm super anxious to get this tent going. Um, but when I set it up today, I saw something bad that I didn't see the other day. Um, this seam here is just way too loose and um, it needs to be taken in in order for this corner to pull tight. And um, that's also where the stove is going over on the side. And I just can't proceed. Doesn't matter how much time I have left or don't have left. Um, I've got to get, I've got to fix this first before I can proceed. So I'm taking the seam in right now and pinning it. I'm going to take the tent down, bring it inside, uh, sew the seam real quick, and uh, hopefully I can continue on. You can see the back here. Same thing has happened. Now I put ties in it so I can pull it out. Um, but where the stove is, I don't want to have that issue. So I've got to fix it. So just by pinning that, you can already see the difference. And I've done the front, both front sides. See how nice it is now. It's nice and tight. If you look at the back too, that I haven't pinned. See, you can just get lost in there. I don't want that. I can always pull them out, but even if you pull it out, it's still got a ton of slack. All right, so I'm hanging out in my little tent here, trying to figure out where to put the stove. I like it in that corner, um, but the problem is, is the stove jack would be on the seam of the tent and probably come over to the front, which I really don't want. So I'm just trying to figure out how to do this and uh, get the stove jack in the right place. I had to test it and uh, I fixed all these seams that were so dropped in. Um, they look a lot better now. The wind is blowing pretty good, but uh, it's actually nice inside the tent already without the stove going. I'm going to get the paper pattern up and uh, pin it real good and bring it inside and get to work on it. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of paper and I've made it the same size as the stove jack. I folded it in both directions so I know that this right here is the middle. All right, I opened up the door and uh, I went outside and managed to get these pins in here nice and securely. I uh, put a black marker line around the pipe. I'm gonna take this down and get inside and finish this baby up. All right, well, I've got the paper stove jack pattern nicely secured to the tent. Uh, I've got my lovely stove jack material here sitting here waiting patiently to get into the tent. Um, the, the rest of what I'm going to do tonight, it's been a long and crazy night, so um, I'm ready for a break. But uh, what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to cut that circle um, out of the stove jack material. Uh, but first I'm going to zigzag it, uh, zigzag stitch it quite a few times in the circle and then I'm also going to apply the gasket sealant and then cut it because this stuff frays like crazy. All right, so I just outlined uh, the paper pattern with masking tape. Um, and now I'm gonna take it off and lay it on here so I can use the circle and make sure it's right. Alright, so I've zigzag stitched my circle three times. When I picked up the welding blanket uh, to use for the stove jack, I also picked up this. This is a gasket maker and what that's going to be used for is to put in the uh, circle uh, that I cut out for the stove pipe and that will keep that from fraying. Alright, well... My high heat um, gasket sealant is dry and uh, I let it sit overnight so I'm gonna cut the middle out and uh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't fray it's gonna be hard to cut this I got the sharpest scissors that I own 
So here we go. Here we go. All right, just uh, slid it over the pipe. Seems to fit perfectly. Now well, I've just um, put one more layer of gasket sealant on the very inside edge uh, of the hole. And uh, I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna let it dry. And when I come back, I'm going to attach the stove jack into the tent. Hi. <laughs> Um, I've completed the stove jack, uh, the hole is done, the gasket sealant is on, and it's looking pretty nice. So I am going to pin this to the tent in the location of where the pattern was that I have marked with the tape. And then I am going to take the tape off, I'm going to go around and sew the outside of the stove jack into the tent. All right, we're ready to do some sewing. Not sure if this will give you an idea of what I'm dealing with here, but so the bobbin did run out on my second stitch, uh, my second side of the square. And um, now I have to take this all out underneath this little presser foot <laughs> and switch the bobbin and then put it all back in. So um, I don't know where I'm going here gotta get it out and I just have to find the next uh, closest seam here it is the zipper so all this has to come through here and then I'll have to go all back in when I go to sew it again okay <laughs> Okay, a little bit of fighting with the tent, but I have got the stove jack sewn on nicely. And uh, now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna cut the canvas out. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the ruler and I've marked a line two inches from the seam um, on the other side. And what I'm gonna do is cut on this line and then this is gonna get folded underneath and that'll make a nice little border around the stove jack. Okay. Not the best cutter, huh? <laughs> now, I need to cut an inch in and an inch in. This will get folded under like this, see? And it'll make a nice little border. There. All right, so now I will sew all around this edge and it will look pretty. Okay, I had a, a one inch fold over on this and I changed it to a half an inch because it was covering up too much of the stove jack material I thought. Um, so I've just revised that and I'm ready to sew it. All right, well, the stove jack is in and I am pretty pumped. I think it looks really good. And uh, now I'm gonna put the cover that I made for it over top. All right, well, everything is going well. The planets have aligned, my sewing machine's working and uh, I'm a happy camper right now. I've got the um, stove jack flap on top of the stove jack and um, just laid it on there and pinned it where I'm going to sew it at the top. Um, and I had to move it over. It's not actually centered over the flap. There's quite a bit of extra on this side, but um, that's because the, uh, the stove jack, I put it as close to the corner um, as I could because I didn't want to lose all that space inside the tent and um, due to that the flap 
is just going over, there's the seam right here um, for the front panel, and it's just a little bit going over there. It shouldn't do too much to it, but um, I guess we'll find out when I set it up. So hopefully it's good to go. All right, the stove jack flap has been sewn on, and um, now I just need to put the Velcro on the tent um, to correspond with the Velcro that's on the sides of the flap, and uh, we'll be done this part. Well, I am super excited because I just put the Velcro on, and the, the flap is on, and the stove jack is in, and I am just about done this project. I just have to put the vent in and do a couple little things and it is good to go. All right, well, I've got the little tent set up. Um, it's having a couple of issues, but Nothing that can't be fixed with some tweaking, I guess. Um, I made a tie on the front right corner to pull out the tent where the stove is going to be on the inside. Um, just to make sure that the wind doesn't blow it into the stove or anything like that. So here's my stove jack flap that I made. And uh, it's the first time I'm trying it. <laughs> Velcro comes up like that. There's already snow in the pipe somehow. Roll it up. Just the Velcro. Ta -da! The pipe. It's not quite perfect, but it's pretty close. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> okay. I have not done this yet, so <laughs> might be a little fumbly. It's the first time attaching the rest of these pipes. I'm just tell it to fit it as straight up as possible. Turn it as such. Here we go. Okay, so what I got here are some aluminum poles. They're super light and they have holes at the top. So what I thought was, for now, I'd actually like to find a nice uh, stick or a piece of wood to put in um, with a nice little Y branch. Okay, I have some wire here. So I thought I would just run the wire between the two poles into the loops and that would make a little cradle. Okay, so through there, through this hole over here. Bring it down. And there, we have a cradle. I know you can't really see it well, but I'll show you a close up after. Okay, that guy in there. And now the pipe is being supported very nicely. Let's get the snow out of that sucker. <laughs> there we go. and stable. Yay! Well, I'm losing daylight fast, but uh, try to give you a quick tour of the inside. There's not really much to see. Um, there's my stove, my beautiful Nyko Alaskan Trail stove from Lure of the North. And I got my stove jack all sewed in. I'm so proud of this. I was really worried about putting that in, so that makes me happy.
Now inside the tent, not sure if you can see all these little things, they're actually loops and um, they're to hang things. So there's one right at the top. Uh, they're all over the place and they're sewn right into the seams of the tent and that is so I can hang a line from here to here let's say and then I can hang uh, my mittens up or my socks or whatever it is that's wet from the day of being outside in the snow. It's not perfect but it's gonna do just nicely for me.